morning guys welcome back to our guinness world record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle good morning bumblebee i don't think that you can see her but she's just parked up there very nicely <laughs> we're here in the city of batumi in georgia but today it's time to say goodbye to georgia because we're heading to the turkish border so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are here and today we're going to be taking this road down to the Turkish border and then continuing along the Black Sea coast towards the city of Trabzon. We are just having a short ride to the border but we still have to pack up everything. It's already 8.45 so better hit the road. Let's go. There you go. Nice and tidy. Okay, I'll get the other one if you just hold it. Okay, yes. Hello. Hello. We have to wear our full gear to go downstairs, otherwise we have to go in multiple trips. I can only just about take everything down in one. It will be a really nice riding day today. Yeah, along the Black Sea. Beautiful. It can be lovely. Okay, good morning. Thank you so much. Oh look, there's some other bikes here. Cool. Watch out for the dog poop. Oh no! Show me your foot. Yeah, you stepped in the dog poop. Anyway, it doesn't mean that I have good luck. Does it mean good luck? Yes. Good. Good luck for a successful border crossing. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I almost rolled back into that bike. <laughs> I think we're in neutral, yeah, because we did the chain last night. Country number 30, here we come. We had a walk down here last night when we went for dinner and uh, the ocean is literally down that street two blocks look at this block here wow it's like really thin and really tall they built a lot of high rises here for sure yeah so many of them are under construction just next to the seafront yeah but i thought it's really interesting because we were talking to a person from canada and he actually sort of retired here in georgia because you can get a one-year visa for georgia visa on arrival for a whole year so the guy was saying that all he has to do is like every year he just has to like leave for a day and come back and then he can stay here for a whole nother year yes and georgia is really cheap compared to canada so he can really have like a crazy life here oh look istanbul 1264 kilometers away we're coming that's where we're going heading towards europe it's awesome i can't believe how close we are now last fuel up in georgia to use up the last of our cash hi Hello. um regular uh, this is this is a ordinary regular ordinary regular yes <coughs> perfect sounds good we have uh 37 Oh, okay, no problem. Where are you from? Uh, from England and Germany. Oh. Yes. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Georgia, you like? Yeah, I love Georgia. You're from Batumi? Yes, I'm from Batumi. Oh, that's nice. Batumi is very, very nice. Beautiful. Madlova. Uh, Madlova, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, there it is, the Black Sea. Cool. And the beaches aren't sandy actually, it's just uh, stone beaches here. <laughs> Reminds me of the English coast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's cloudy. Beautiful day in England to go to the beach. <laughs> You've got really big cliffs right next to the ocean here. Cool. The queue of trucks to the border has already started. Yeah, wow. The border is coming up in less than a mile. Oh, always the poor truckers, eh? Yeah, they gotta wait a long time. Yeah, yeah, we have spoken to some truckers in South America and they said they had to wait like 
for days. Literally days. Yeah. But not us, we don't have to wait. We always go to the front. What a beautiful coast. Like really Jurassic Park style, no? Yeah. Stunning. So I think this is the border here. Look at this uh, border building. It's a really interesting construction. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so trucks, 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 cars, cars, cars. I think we'll just go here. Okay. There's not very many cars anyway. We've only got like pff, 10 cars in front of us. Yeah, do you think we just have to like wait here? Yeah, I think, uh, well, if we're lucky, it's going to be just go to there, give the stuff, drive through. Nice. <laughs> we I can like only it. hope. Uh, Turkey. Turkey, cool. English, America? Uh, English. 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 And uh, German, Germania? Uh, Alman. 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 So we've been waiting here for like half an hour and it's not really moving forward. And also we see that all of the passengers of the cars have gone over to like the walk-in entrance, which is super, super crowded, full of people and looks like it has a huge, huge queue. So we're really hoping that Lavi doesn't get sent over in the walk-in. Yeah, otherwise we're going to be waiting ages. 12 seconds later. So they told Lavi that she has to go in the walk-in queue. Oh, so she's just gone off to start waiting, but it is a massive queue. So I reckon I'll probably get through here and then I'll be waiting quite a while. So I'm through immigration, passport control. I'm just waiting, I think, in the customs queue, I'm not sure yet if I have to get a temporary import permit for Bumblebee or not. There's no sign of Lavi anywhere, so I think they have a completely separate walking system that's like all inside. Hopefully I'll catch her on the other side. But I'm stamped into Turkey now, so I just have one more process to go, which is customs for Bumblebee. So we'll see how long it takes. So the customs guys just told me that I have to buy insurance before I can come into Turkey. And luckily, just here, there's a little window where I can buy it. Let's see if they take cars. Yes, I just made it through. I got my stamp and now I will just see how far Oli made it. So I'm actually now in Turkey. Yoo! But wow, I can tell you it was a massive queue. So many people. That was like one of the busiest borders I ever went through. It was insane. Yes, they took card, which is amazing. So they've just logged me in on the Turkish system. They didn't give me any document or temporary import permit. They just logged everything in, checked I had the insurance, and they said everything was fine. I'm ready to go into Turkey. Ah. Yes, of course. Thank you. We're here. This is like the waiting area. This is where Lavi is going to come out. But I don't see her yet. Oh, I see her. She's up ahead. See her. So you just got through? Yes, just now. Literally just now? Yes. It's perfect timing. Welcome to Turkey. Welcome to Turkey. <laughs> All right. Nice one. Oh yes, here we ah, go. Cool. Welcome to Turkey. Yes, we're <laughs> here, we've made it. And because we went back an hour, it's only 11 o'clock here. Yes. So we did pretty well. You went through faster than I expected, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was like, you know, skipping ahead. <laughs> nice. They actually waved me all the way to the front as well. They said, oh, nice. They said, you've got no baggage to check. You come all the way to the front on nice. the Turkish side. So it, I was like way ahead of everyone. Yeah, it was really, really smooth, actually. That's how borders should be. Just everything all in one place. Go through, go through, go through. Done. I like it. So the first thing we're going to do is just ride to the first town which is coming up called Hopa 
and in Hopper we need to get ourselves a SIM card and we'll take a little break there as well. We are in Turkey! We're in. We made it! Yes! <laughs> nice. nice! Whoa, crazy. Look at this on the Turkish side of the border. There's just lines of trucks on this road. There are so many trucks, I can't believe it. Like we rode already for like five miles or something and the whole way is, there, is just packed with trucks. I really don't know what's going on. But even like this side here, like into Turkey, why, why are they stopping here? Well, they just get in and then they're like, oh, that's it, I'm done for the day. Or maybe they're not allowed to drive at all on Sunday. Ah, I don't know. You know what, that could be the case, yeah. We're gonna try Vodafone for a SIM card, see what kind of plans they've got. And then it's pretty convenient here in Hopa because then we've got a bank just there so we can get some Turkish Lira. And then I think we're gonna try and find a place where we can eat something, because it's nearly lunchtime. Okay, so SIM card successful. Yes, I think so. We're still to check it out, I guess. It was actually quite expensive. I'm surprised it was 12 gigabytes for 18 pounds. Okay, well 12 gigabytes is quite a lot. And then managed to get cash out from here. So we're basically nearly good to go. Hot donut. Yes. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's have a hot donut then, hey? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> So, so what are we eating then? So this is like a durum, durum Dur roll. <laughs> a durum roll. Yes. And some chips. All right. First meal in Turkey. We actually asked for a Turkish lentil soup because we have eaten Turkish lentil soups all over the world, but never in Turkey. But they were sold out. Can they be sold out? Turkish yeah. lentil soup. This is yeah. Turkey. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Turkey. Yes. <laughs> Turkey, yeah. yes! Three, two, one, nice! Thank you so much! Cool! Thank you! It's just so nice here in Turkey. I don't know why, but I feel like already like a really good connection with the people here. We have a lot of Turkish people in Germany, a lot of friends, a lot of Turkish friends, and it's just nice to be here. Yeah, so now we're going to be leaving Hoppa and heading towards our first point of interest here in Turkey which is called the Sumela Monastery and it looks absolutely incredible it's like a clifftop monastery wedged into the mountain we actually thought that we were finished with monasteries but no but this one looks super cool and exactly. definitely worth a visit yes exactly so the monastery is 130 miles away and Google estimates it's going to take us three hours to get there wow so we're going to be following the Black Sea coast for the next couple of hours to the town of Trabzon and then we'll be turning inland towards the monastery. Awesome! part of the cliff has fallen down here look at that insane oh yeah I can see they've just started clearing it up wow imagine if you were here when that happened a massive landslide look at the size of these rocks wow like the whole other part of the highway like the whole other side is gone crazy whoa that is absolutely crazy it's looking incredibly rainy ahead so we're gonna put on our rain gear I was hoping it was just like sea mist but yeah no, we're definitely going to get wet. Show me your <laughs> nice trousers. <laughs> we're doing great. <laughs> At least I'm not wearing a bin bag. What? That's new fashion. And I got this bin bag from our friends in Russia. <laughs> Lavi's getting the Sergei rain treatment. <laughs> Anti-rain, hey? <laughs> Thanks, Olga and Sergei.
look at this look at these cliffs yeah we made it into the mountains yeah and it's not raining right now which i'm really happy about so we reconnected the media mod but we have left the black sea coast and now yes we're heading inland into the mountains to see a beautiful mountain monastery whoa look at this road that's crazy there's like just enough of a gap in between to make the road beautiful this is beautiful here Look at that, it's a wooden car. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. So we just paid 900 lira to get through the barrier here, which is about 27 pounds. So this better be a pretty good monastery. <laughs> So we're currently four kilometers still from the monastery and the only way to get up there is by a minibus but we have to pay extra for the minibus. They said oh you can walk if you want but it's four kilometers. Yes and it's uphill as well. It's like... So anyway we have to leave Bumblebee here. We have to take a minibus. We've already bought the ticket so we've got to get there. <laughs> Bumblebee all wrapped up and they also said that I'm not allowed to take the drone up there either. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. They make your hike 350 meters to get here. And it's the steep. But it's here. We've arrived. Wow, look at that. <sighs> what a place! What a place. Wow. The way that it's all just carved out of the rock. <sighs> Looks so spectacular. So this is Sumela Monastery. Sumela Monastery is a Greek Orthodox monastery dedicated to Mary. Now the word Sumela means Black Mountain. And as you can see, the entire monastery is nestled in this crazy steep cliff in the Altindere Valley. And we are at 1,200 meters above sea level here. This whole place is within the Altindere National Park. So the monastery was actually closed for like three years due to like frequent rock falls and it was really dangerous for people to visit here. So they put in this huge netting all above the monastery to basically protect everybody visiting the monastery. Wow, I'm really impressed with this place. Walking around here and seeing the structure up closer it's just mind-blowing. I must say though, people have really destroyed the frescoes. They have been carved by so many people. It's actually quite sad. Yeah, but these days they actually put a fence here that you can't get too close. I'm speechless. They have chosen the best location in Turkey for this monastery. It's not known when the monastery was founded, but the Turkish Ministry of Culture places the date at around 386 AD during the reign of the Emperor Theodosius. It was founded by two Athenian monks called Barnabas and Sophronius. And one of the frescoes here is said to have been painted by the Apostle Luke. 
So the monastery reached its present form in the 13th century during the Empire of Trebizond. It was during the reign of Alexios III that the monastery received its most important construction works. According to legend, the young Alexios was saved from a storm by the Theotokos and was bidden by her to restore the monastery. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. English? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, what is the, the name? Kemenje. Kemenje. Turkish Kemenje. Turkish Kemenje. Kemenje. With a uh, horse tail. With a horse tail. Horse tail. Ah. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bumblebee. Happy and alive. Goodbye, Sumela Monastery. Bye bye. It was a cool visit. Thank you. Yeah, I just think it's so magical to visit ancient places like that. I mean, this place was apparently founded in 386 AD. This is like in the really, really, really early days of Christianity. Only 350 years after Jesus. Yeah, and if you just think about how did they build this, you know? I mean, it was so up in the hills. Yeah, that is really, really impressive. You have like this crazy steep cliffs everywhere were super inaccessible and then suddenly <laughs> there's just this super nice awesome construction yes there's one of those places in the world that is just a really unique and special place but we have to go as well now our camping spot we found a place on iOverlander it looks really promising it had really good reviews and it's just 11 minutes away from here because I can tell you in 11 minutes it will be probably dark we got to get there we got to get the tent set up yeah and then we've got to find something to eat. Yeah. The campsite should be like just two minutes down here. Is it this one? Sumela's camping. I'm not sure what the name was actually. There were like two campings next to each other. The one we've chosen is literally £2.50 per person. Yeah. £2.50 per person. Incredible, man. This camping. This one. Dreki or something. This one, yeah. Dreki Doga. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's check it out. Camping. Hi. Camping? Perfect. Camping, Thank you. awesome. Restaurant? Restaurant? Yes? Cool. Cool. Hello. This little area? Okay. Okay. I think we could probably put the tent like this. Yes. Okay, perfect. We uh, set up and then after eating. <laughs> Thank you. So nice spot. Wow. And we gave them 200. It's like six pounds. Six pounds. That's really good. And apparently they have toilet shower here and they have a restaurant as well, which is awesome. But yeah, we need to get the tent pitched up right now because right it's now. getting dark. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Got the camp set up in like in nine minutes. So we will just go and have dinner now and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. So we finally found it. A Turkish lentil soup in Turkey. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, that's so good. <laughs>